The Go Higher podcast is provided by The High Program at Wayne State University. The High Program, helping individuals go higher. Welcome everyone to the Go Higher podcast, where we take on the tough and relevant subjects in everyone's day-to-day lives and provide insight on how to respond, resolve, and re-inspire yourself and those around you. Now today, we're going to be talking about the difference between motivation and discipline. First, we're going to talk about motivation. When we truly feel motivated to do something, it feels like a breeze. Like every breath you take is the freshest one you've taken in months. Your steps feel lighter, and your brain is producing all sorts of ideas and thoughts. You're ready to tackle any issue that makes the mistake of coming your way. You're walking on sunshine, and the joy shooting out of your smile radiates to all the people you encounter, and they feel like you do just because they came in contact with you. But what about when you're not motivated to do something? What about when you're dreading something? It feels like a deep freeze has frozen your normally body functions. Every breath feels like it's going to cause a heart attack. Your mind is filled with doubt, anxiety, and fear. Searching for a way out of this god-awful situation that you found yourself in. Procrastination begins to set into your daily routine while you ponder whether you can make a living as an Instagram model traveling the world. Suddenly, the test is in two days, you haven't figured out the homework, and you need to study for 48 hours straight. So let's pump the brakes on that nightmare right now. These aren't the only two scenarios that are possible in life. There is a concept that is sometimes terrifying to people, but is the only way out of the motivated, unmotivated cycle. Discipline. And that's how it means it's time for the keyword of the day. Discipline. To bring to a state of order and obedience by training and control. Protecting you and those around you are just as important as your education. Life happens, and we want to help you in every way possible to prepare for it. Here is your GHPP, Go Higher Program Podcast Safety Tip of the Day. Stay in populated areas of campus. Criminals thrive on anonymity. Your chances of depriving them of that is increased in well-populated areas. This safety tip came from Wayne State Police Department. Discipline is basically making a habit out of doing what you need to do to achieve your goals. Motivation is never going to be there for you when you really need it. Discipline will. Discipline is like your best friend that sees you through any facade and is always there for you. When you're at your lowest points and life is really getting you down, do you think motivation is going to suddenly appear and hand you your homework? Not a chance. Setting intentions and goals like these are the foundation of creating a new life with discipline. The next part that you need to understand is willpower. Your will to do things is a finite resource. What does that mean? It means if you're constantly forcing yourself to do things all day long, your will to do things you may not want to do gets lower and lower throughout the day. So it's important to pick your battles. Do a quick assessment of everything that you encounter in your day. If I do this, will I be a step closer or further from my goals? Is this worth my time? Or is this going to be a drain on my decision-making ability? Is this going to help someone in need? And will they be better off with my help? If any decision will bring you closer to your goals, it's worth the drain on your willpower. And someone will be helped by your involvement, then it's a no-brainer. If it's going to give you a step back, not be worth your time and anguish, and won't really be able to help anyone, even yourself, then you're going to have to skip the whole idea. This is one of those situations where adopting a different perspective immediately results in superior outcomes. Few uses of the term paradigm shift are actually legitimate, but this one is. It's a light bulb moment. Cultivating discipline separates your actions from moods and feelings which circumvent the problem by constantly improving your willpower. Successful completion of tasks brings about that walking on sunshine feeling, just like you feel with motivation. So how do you gain this magical discipline that solves all your problems and guarantees success? Well, first you have to start off by setting your intentions and goals. Discipline just for its own sake isn't productive. Setting your intentions can be something simple like, I will be the best that I can be and I will give everything my all. Your intentions are like your North Star. They'll guide your subconscious towards achieving your goals and allow you to strive harder in pursuit of what you truly want. Next, you have to set those goals. The trick with those goals is that you can't set them to be attainable. That doesn't mean make them impossible. That means makes your goals to be something that you have to do every day to achieve. For example, my goal is to be a successful doctor that shows empathy and care for every patient. Or my goal is to maintain my own personal discipline every day of my life while being the best I can be. When you have a goal like to graduate from college, graduation day comes, you throw your cap up in the air, eat some cake, and then you're fresh out of goals. Your pursuit of higher success has been achieved, and it's over. 
Now, when your goal is to become the best you can be in your chosen field, then you're living your success every day and everything you do to get closer to maintaining that goal is a net positive. So the point is this, cut the ties between feelings and actions and do what you've got to do to get ahead. Build habits, start as small as you can manage and gather momentum. Reinvest that energy in progressively bigger changes to your routine and build a positive feedback loop. When it comes down to it, you have to ask yourself if you want to make a serious change or not. And the only way to attain meaningful and lasting change is through discipline. So go out there and make a difference. College can be difficult, but for some students, financial issues can make things impossible. The High program at Wayne State University provides critical funds to students who are having major issues with basic needs like tuition, books, housing, and food. It's amazing, but just a few hundred dollars at the right time can save a student from dropping out of school or being homeless. Students should not have to decide between basic life necessities and finishing their education. The HIGH program has connected hundreds of students with their basic needs and provided a light at the end of the tunnel for what amounts to the most difficult period of their young lives. If you would like to help, donations of any amount are welcome and you can find all of our information at highprogram.wayne.edu.